all right you're welcome to this tutorial now this particular test effect is an amazing test effect i created this test effect from scratch right from scratch with pixel lab and the interesting thing about this text effect was that i came across this on free pick it's actually a photoshop text effect i mean it was originally created with photoshop but now i'm about to show you how i created it from scratch with pixel lab and pixel lab only so stick around stay with me and ensure you watch this video to the end because this is test effect you can't afford to miss any part like not even one minute not even one second of this video i'm going to see you in the video all right so you are welcome back now the first thing i want us to um touch yeah the first thing i want us to touch is to start from okay let me ask you first how many layer how many layers is this test effect right let me let me enable this again how many layers is this particular text effect just drop your guess in the comment section right drop your guess how many layers and then you can now come back and continue watching to be sure whether you are correct now let me just give you a couple of seconds for you to do that so um one two three four five okay so we can continue now now you can be so sure whether you are wrong or you are correct so it's actually um one two um three four five so it's a five layer text effect it's a five layers text effect right now i want us to start from the um the first layer right i want us to start from the first layer so that you can understand the whole idea because the idea behind this is i want to take you through the behind the scenes i want to show you the process um step by step so that you can understand how to do it and you can replicate it on your own and you can use it on your designs right so um yeah this is the first layer i mean this is the first layer that i actually created right let me unlock it i think i locked it yeah so this is the first layer can you see this is the first layer that i created now what did i do first it's quite simple the first thing i did here um yeah the first thing i did here was to work on my font so it's more like i brought in a random text i brought in a random text and then i changed the font right i changed the font and then i work on this but then you understand right you understand what i did so let me delete this now this is just a test right this is a text and then um if i click on edit now look at this is how i was able to work on the text right so we have text style right we have text style you can see that the e is um um small letter while others are block letters now the reason why it is like this is because of what i was trying to achieve and because of the fonts i was using right now this will even lead me to talking about the font now the font i use is um the font i use is love i think it's love something let me check let me check okay luckiest guy sorry luckiest guy regular this is the font i use luckiest guy regular luckiest guy regular it's going to be in the telegram community in the youtube telegram community if you are not there um yet just check the description box below you'll see the link to the community so you get the font for free there so we have text now right so this is the text now i know that you are struggling to um actually see the text so i will show you it like that now let me come to stroke and let me disable the stroke can you see so can you now see the text this is the, this is how the text looks so um after actually after working on the fonts right after um working on the text text style that is the text i wanted to use but then you can always use another text for your maybe your name or depending on the kind of design you are creating so you can use whatever text you want to use so but for me and for the sake of this tutorial i needed to just use text style so um yeah so like i said the next thing i did after um imputing my text and changing the font the next thing i did was to adjust the spacing right i adjusted the spacing not the normal spacing i adjusted the line spacing 
and i had to reduce it to minus 48 because this was what it looked like originally but i knew that this was not going to give me what i wanted like the product i was looking for but then that may never be necessary in your own it depends on the word you are working on it depends um if your word is a if your text is a two line text or is a three line text then you may need to also follow suit but then if it's a one line text then this doesn't even concern you yeah so now um the next thing i did was to change the color so let me let me show you the color code of the color i used this was the color i used right this was the color i used look at this color and the color code in case you are trying to um work on it like on your own the color code is 00C3FB 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 Once you impute this color code It's definitely going to give you this color Yeah, once you impute it here And you click on OK So, but then It's the same thing So there was no point me clicking OK So, that was This was the color I used Can you see? This was the color I used Right? This, that was the color I used Now, before I even continue I think I need to talk about the background so this particular background um it's it's going to be available in the community so you may not even need to work on this background yourself right there's no point working on the background yourself um you are going to get it the png in the telegram community so just check in the community and you will see it right or ask in case you don't see it ask so let's continue now the next thing i did to the text after changing the color um was to um come down to my stroke right come down to stroke and then that was what gave me this so i needed to just disable that so that you can see that um what i'm doing is actually making sense because i know initially this doesn't this didn't make sense to um you maybe just maybe right so um the stroke width is 65 now i need to mention the fact that i'm working in landscape mode you get it so i'm actually working in landscape mode so if you are um, trying to recreate this test effect and your own pixel lab is in portrait mode you may not be able to use the exact figures i use like for example now my stroke width is 65 your own stroke width would definitely not be up to 65 for you to be able to achieve um i mean eventually achieve what you need to achieve so um usually i would advise you to just work i mean recreate yours in landscape mode too like it makes it easier for you to follow every of the instruction i give like i mean every of the parameters i use it gives it makes it easier for you to just follow carefully use the exact figures and get the exact result right so the stroke width here is 65 and what was the stroke color the exact color i use for the text so you don't have to stress yourself about trying to change stroke color here yeah, i mean on this particular layer that one is not needed just use the exact color you use for the text and then the stroke width i'm working in landscape mode the stroke width is 65 now i need to mention something um i actually need that i was supposed to mention this earlier the text of my size because that also matters right it, it, it also matters so my my text size is 315 right my text size is 315 315 so you may also need to work with that if you want to get exact the exact result i got now after doing that the next thing is now to scroll down look for shadow right this is shadow can i place this i think it's distracting us so like um yeah like i said look for shadows this is shadows so the shadow um the shadow is ready here but i just want to show you how i achieved that so this is shadow if i disable it now you can see that there's no longer shadow so i need to add shadow um for depth right to be able to um give the text depth now the opacity of my shadow um, the color of my shadow is black right i use black for my shadow all right so the color i use for my shadow is black actually let me show you uh okay not black actually not black not black sorry about that the color code for my shadow is 192152 can you see 192152 192152 so that is the color code for my shadow but then i have to reduce the opacity yeah the transparency this is this particular um rectangle this one is all about um, tra um transparency so i have to reduce it here so that it doesn't look too thick right you need to make your shadow look realistic that's the goal so but then you can also adjust the opacity here without even having to adjust it directly from the way i adjusted it 
just like different options it depends on which one you want or which one you feel like you can um use quickly it depends on you totally so um this is dope i can also decide to adjust the opposite of my shadow from here so let me just leave it at 60 i think 60 or 61 it's cool now blur radius i increase the blur radius to 20 right now my offset y this offset y has to do with the direction of the shadow yeah so look at can you see can you see so i left mine at 20 it's actually at 20 offset x we move it to the left or to the right this one move it to up or down so i didn't tap out my offset x because it's not necessary right for this particular tutorial now my outer glue too is actually not necessary so um i just left it then mark it so that is that about the first layer like we are done with the first layer did i use 3d i don't think so i didn't use 3d here so because this is not actually a 3d text effect now this is for the first layer right this is for the first layer so now i need to lock this now for, him, for me to be able to get the second layer i didn't even stress myself too much like having to like follow the whole process from scratch again you may not need to stress yourself that much too all you have to do just to copy this first layer and then you disable some things enable some things yeah it depends on you so now that will lead me to my um to my second layer let me enable it can you see it yeah this is it you are seeing that our text event is beginning to make a bit of sense it's beginning to look good right so but then if i take this away from here can you see this is the first layer now this particular one is the second layer so for the second layer is quite simple um the stroke here is still um yeah it's still enabled right, right? but then this time around it's not 65 can you see the difference now this time around unlike the first layer this one is not 65 it's 33 right i use 33 actually i use 33 and then just like you can, you can observe the color code the color i use for the stroke here is not the same color with the text the color i use for my stroke here is um a bit deeper right the color code is 4055d3 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 and that that gave me this color so once you impute this color code it's going to give you the exact color right so um and that was what made me get this particular stroke color now every other thing remain intact right i didn't change the size right the size of the text remain 315 the color of the text remain i didn't tamper with it the um the shadow right the shadow actually remained too just that this time around is thicker right the shadow um, is actually thicker this time around and then the color code of the shadow here is still the same 192 152 just like the first one but it just at this time around the opacity of the shadow is 82 the blur radius of the shadow this time around is 16. please take note of the process that is why i'm taking my time to actually carry you along right the blur radius here is 16. then the offset x is also zero but this time around the offset y is 13 unlike the first layer where the offset y was actually 20. you see the difference now so if you need to judge these things down as you are watching for you to be able to understand better please do actually before i even um work on this i jotted my own down too so that i don't make the mistake when i'm trying to create this so please take note of that right so um yeah the next thing here is the outer glow also is not enabled the blur radius is 16 the opacity is 82 so we have lesser blur radius lesser offset y but then we have more opacity the same color code right now mark it and that is all for the second layer that is totally all for the second layer now for the third layer you may not need to start from scratch again to just copy the second layer can you see it's actually that simple just copy the second layer and then there are some things you disable like i'll be showing you you disable some things you enable some things so let's go to the third layer right so let me log this but then let me enable my third layer now the third layer is even quite simple like the process is actually simple yeah, let me just um show you all the all what the third layer is about can you see look at it so it's like so long as you copy your second layer self, it's not going to be like it's not going to be a problem like once you copy your second layer so it's not actually going to be a problem for you 
right so um let me undo that so now what is what happened in the second layer is actually quite simple the same size right the size of the text was not removed now let me just say something that you need to place this your second layer on your first layer can you see the way i place my own so just pay attention to the way i place my own and then place your second layer on your first layer this way so back to this one the size is the same size the color is the same color but then this time around there there's no shadow so you have to come to your shadow that's if you copied the second layer then you have to come and disable your shadow and this time around so there is this stroke just that the stroke here is 15. you know the first layer the stroke was 65 the second layer the stroke was 33 but this time around there is this stroke but then the stroke this time around is 15. and the stroke color this time around is also different right the color code is 00 a1 fd 00 a1 fd 00 a1 fd copy that and use that on your own and you are going to get this same thing now don't forget that the stroke width is 15 and then um position this carefully too like you see me do can you see so position this carefully too on the second layer and that is all for our second layer sorry i mean for our third layer please our third layer so we are progressing now the next is the fourth layer don't forget that we are dealing with a five layer text effect so we are in the fourth layer now and then the fourth layer is actually an interesting one yes because this time around we are changing the color now if you notice something you realize that from the first layer we haven't changed the original color of the text we haven't tampered with the size we haven't tampered with the original color of the text in fact my text effect i don't tamper with the size so that's not even a thing but then this time around you can see how um the color was changed so um just like i've been saying you can also decide to copy your third layer for your fourth layer you disable some things you enable some things so let me take you through the journey the same size is maintained 315 but then the color is changed here so the color code is 4405 5d3 405 5d3 405 5d3 that is the color code here so click on ok and then you have this color the next thing now is your stroke right so scroll down to your stroke and then on that stroke we have the same stroke with the third layer so i did even copy if you copy your third layer you realize that it's, it's not going to be a big deal for you because you don't need to begin to add stroke you already have your 15 stroke right your stroke to be 15 rather so the color code for the stroke is the same color i think yeah it's the same color with the color of the fourth layer i mean this this particular color that we just changed right so um that is the same color with the um it is the same color with the stroke right but then now this is one thing you need to pay attention to about this layer you can see the way it was placed can you see it wasn't um i, I didn't use relative position here please take note because if you use relative position it's going to can you see it's going to actually place them at the center see what relative position is going to give us but that's not what i want so i want a bit of this blue here can you see that blue showing that blue showing a bit can you see that that blue is showing a bit i want it to show so you need to take note of that when creating your own like i mean this blue you are seeing here is from the previous layer if i move this now you understand what i'm seeing better can you see this stroke this blue stroke so that is what is reflecting here so even this particular layer too you don't use relative position you just have to be careful in fact that is one thing you need to take note of when working on this particular test effect when trying to recreate it, you have to be very very careful with the placement of each layer on each other for you to be able to get the result you are looking for so you don't place this exactly on the previous layer you move it a bit so that this blue the blue stroke at the third uh, on the third layer can reflect right now that is all about the second uh, i mean the fourth layer now the fifth layer which is the last layer this is where the work is finished <laughs> right so for this one it's quite simple you can just copy your 
um fourth layer too but then this time around you're using another color entirely so come to color and the color code you are using is just white right <laughs> white so it's um nothing serious the color you are using here is color white and then the next thing you need to take note of is, is the same size then you need to come down to stroke and disable your stroke right there are no strokes for this layer for this particular layer there is no stroke so don't enable any stroke for this layer but then the next thing you have to do for this layer is to come down and go to your shadow right you need to enable your shadow yeah you need to enable your shadow right you know for the second layer for the fourth layer for the third layer there was no shadow but then you need to enable your shadow on the first um i mean fifth layer so the um stroke not the stroke sorry the color code for the shadow yes 192 152 192 152 that's the um that's the color of the shadow the opacity is 44 blur radius is 6 the outer glow is disabled offset x don't tamper with it offset y is 10 right offset y is 10 now the next thing you need to work on here is the inner shadow this is the first time we are using inner shadow in this particular text effect if i've been watching my other text effect on my youtube channel you realize that i use inner shadow very well but this time around we are using it on only the first layer so it's quite simple for the inner shadow the color code is 1a7 1a7 3ed 1a7 3ed 1a7 3ed that is the color code for the inner shadow then for the inner shadow there is no opacity but then you still need to reduce the transparency so that is why you see that you need to adjust that one from here and just bring it to the center instead of making it thick here right now the blur radius is 14 the offset x here is minus 15 and the offset y is minus 23 so this one is different from the others this one you have to enable the offset x and then the offset y is minus for three but then the blur radius is 14 right and then you have to place it carefully and that is all for our text effect i'm very sure that you've learned how to recreate this text effect if you actually learn a lot let me know in the comment section and if you want to get more tutorials like this do wait to subscribe do wait to hit the like button and drop a comment if you want more amazing text event tutorials like this for the background check the description box below and also for the font for the link to my community where you can join and then you get the background you get the font used Thank you so much. I'm going to see you in my next video and I'll be looking forward to seeing your replication. You can tag me on Instagram. You can post it. You can um, send it to me. You can tag me on Instagram when you post it. Just tag the creative magician. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you in my next video.